Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I'm Jody and Cheryl, and we have Vera today with us in our Law of Attraction um, Lounge Facebook group. So we started this Facebook group because it was important for us to remind ourselves to live the Law of Attraction daily. And we invite any anybody in our Facebook group um, and invite your friends to join our group um, who want to do the same, who want the daily reminders to um, live intentionally. So we come to you today with a, um, a quick little tip. It's quick, it's easy, but don't be fooled. It's very, very powerful. So at this point, we're going to turn it over to our friend and our uh, law of attraction teacher, so Cheryl. So Cheryl, why don't you take it uh, take it away? Thanks, Jody. Uh, so today we're talking about segment intention or segment intending, if you want it to be an active verb. My English teacher would be so proud of me right now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, is that it is an active verb kind of thing, segment intending. Um, it's If you think about it, it is just like it sounds, a segment of your day and having an intention for that segment. So how often do we drive to work and we're like in another zone or another place, or we're just trying to figure out the map to figure out where we're going because we haven't been there before. And so we're preoccupied all the time, and not just when we're driving, but practically all the time where our mind is racing through lots of thoughts, re reviewing the day, the day before, or a week before, or 15 years before. And we're revisiting things we we've ha have had in the past. And and in some cases, we're projecting out into the future. We're thinking about what could be in the future. And all of that is a kind of segment intending. However, most of the time, it's unintentional. So when we talk about segment intending and using the law of attraction, just to back up and revisit one of the key principles is that energy attracts like energy, right? So we've got this kind of energy over here and it's going to find a matching energy and be drawn to it, drawn to that energy. And so if we are remembering a bad experience we had with a client, or we are remembering um, and re reliving an experience with a, a troublesome uh, coworker or boss in the past, then we're actually putting out that vibration and it will, it will cause us to bring by nature of the law of attraction, it is the rule, um, it will draw a like energy. However, we have some choices to make. The choice is to be a little more conscious about our thoughts and to pay attention to them in such a way that we are actually directing them. We're directing the next steps of our lives and we are causing or intending for certain things to, to come about. In, in my book, Emotional Self Mastery, it, it, there's a section on there called Prepaving the Way. And it's very much like segment intending in that we are thinking about what we want to happen in a specific scenario. In the, in the book, I talk about how Jill is a outside sales rep and she has to go and make all these sales calls. She's never been an outside sales rep before. So she's learning the ropes. And of course, all the other salespeople are telling her how awful it is because people slam doors in your face and hang up on you and call you ugly names just because you're calling to, uh, you know, to see if they have a need. And so she starts taking on other people's storylines, right? And she's not realizing that in that taking on what other people are saying, she is creating a intention for her, her direct calls to people. So when we're not conscious about what the thoughts are that we're putting out, then very often we can be creating somebody else's scenario in our lives. And personally, I don't want to do that. I don't want anybody's bad karma, anybody's bad experiences. I don't need to have those. I can have plenty of my own, I'm sure. But the point is, is to be conscious, to be thinking about it before you step into a new segment. Now, segments are any length of time, but when we think about it, it is it could be the segment when you're getting ready for bed and getting into bed. And actually getting ready for bed is one segment. 
getting into bed is another segment. And so that getting into bed and having the intention that you're going to have a restful, peaceful sleep, that you're going to fall asleep quickly, that um, you are going to have pleasant dreams, that you won't make, you won't wake up at all throughout the night and that you will feel uh, rested and rejuvenated in the morning. That's writing an, uh, an intention for a segment of time. And it's right there before you go to sleep. Now, the chances of you waking up feeling restful are higher than had you not set an intention for that segment. And so I encourage you to try it out. I mean, even if you have to pick up the phone and call someone about something, let's say it's a customer service issue, how do you want that person to respond to you at the other end of the line, right? Do you want them to be overly helpful and friendly? Actually, speaking of which, I need to make a phone call today to our cable company because our Wi-Fi is not working in all parts of the house. So, and I'm a little frustrated with it. So I better set my intention clearly before I pick up the phone to schedule that appointment. So um, I really want Wi-Fi to be very strong all over the house. You know, with knowing that and having wanting the problem solved rather than being on one side of the equation, which is I could be angry that they didn't get it fixed the first time and frustrated and irritated, or I can look at the other side and say, you know, it's not always an easy fix for this reason, that reason. Let's, you know, let's approach this with a much more positive intention. In my case, I want the problem to be resolved and reach all areas of the house and the backyard so that it's not an issue. So I can count on it all the time. That would be setting a really positive intention. And, and it would be ideal if I went into more detail, and I will, but I just won't do it right now. <laughs> um, when you think of segment intending, it's not just like when you go to bed or when you first thing in the morning when you get up. Um, it's throughout the day. So if you're going to get in your car and you're going to go to a networking event, what kind of experience do you want to have? So you want to think about that. You know, do you want to have really nice interactions and meet new people and find people that are interested in your product or service? Those might be the kinds of things that you set the intention for. You might also set the intention that you build a lasting connection with people because in my area of the world, people really like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And I think that's pretty much true all over the world. Very much, we're relationship-based in this town. And so, you know, it's important that we build long-term relationships with people. Back to my original start, which was, we were talking about the vibrations that we put out and how law of attraction responds to those vibrations. When we have a vibration that is positive and uplifting, we're going to attract more of those kinds of vibrations to us. People with those same, and scenarios as well, people with those same vibrations, matching vibrations. When we set a, an intention for a segment of time or an event, then we hold that as our intention. That is putting out a vibration that then attracts the same thing to it. So if you're going to a meeting, let's say your company's having a meeting and you really don't want to go and you're just, uh, I don't want to go. And this is such a waste of time. And your experience is probably going to match that, right? That's segment intending without intention. That's just going, oh, I'm frustrated. But you have a choice. You get to choose your thoughts. You get to choose what you want to experience. Now, does it guarantee it? No, doesn't guarantee that it's always going to come out in the end the way you liked it, you wanted it to, or you intended it to, but it will probably be much better than had you not set the intention to begin with. So I want to open up for questions and see if, and thoughts and see if anything has resonated with you um, and to see if, you know, you have something else to contribute. Jody, Vera? I have a couple of thoughts, but Vera, go ahead. How does this resonate with you? Is this something that you already practice? Is this a good reminder or do you have a specific example? It's a great reminder um, because I, when I was working, Cheryl, I was always dreading going in mm -hmm. and you're right. I got what I anticipated, what I, so by leaving that gave me, what I wanted 
peace and everything. So you're right on that. I, I did dread it. And I think I brought it on myself. I mean, not myself, but more of it. I attracted it. Got it. So thank you for the reminder. <laughs> you know what? That's really great awareness on your part. Uh, and you know what we say, Vera? You get what you vibrate. Mm -hmm. We don't always get what we want, but we always get what we vibrate. Would that be true? Yes. And I think I'm going to um, make a label and put it on my phone. We get what we buy. I know. That's a t-shirt, Cheryl. <laughs> there you go. Or, you know, if I have, I don't have any tattoos, but if I did, like right here, we should put it. I get what I vibrate. Oh, gosh, dang, I forgot. <laughs> You know, I was going to uh, first thought was, Cheryl, your example, your very first example, have you ever, you know, you driven to work and, you know, you get off track, right? Because our mind is thinking of things. Have you, this has probably happened to you. Have you ever gotten somewhere and you're like, oh my God, how did I get here? Like, seriously? Yeah, you can come off mute. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you really, like, seriously. Oh my, I don't, how did I get here? <laughs> I miss my exit at times, you know, on the freeway. And I'm driving, yes. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. Um, mm -hmm. My second thought was in the, uh, in the uh, comments this morning or last evening, uh, Whitney, who is um, in our group, and she lives in California though, so it's a little early for her. And she said, yeah, I probably heard of segment intending but I'm not positive. Might I know it by another name? Uh -huh. And then Cheryl, you just said pre-paving. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Tell us quickly, is it pre-paving like segment intending? It, it's super. Yeah, it's very similar. It's pre-paving the way it's having, it's imagining what you would prefer. So very many of us live out in the future. We're always, we're always thinking about what's out, what's coming up. And that can create a fear, create fear in us because we don't, we can't control it. We don't know what it's going to be. And so that's, uh, it can be frustrating and, and disempowering. However, when you take time to stop and imagine how you would like it to be, like literally close your eyes and describe it to yourself and, and try to visualize what it would look like and it going well and, you know, the positivity, et cetera, then there's a greater chance of it. I, I know of a woman who was, um, who was going in for a mammogram and she was, um, she was afraid they were going to find something. Not that they had ever found anything before. And um, and her fear was so high that she actually kind of created a, a something. There, it ended up not being cancer or anything like that. But it, 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 she, in the, in the process of the worry and the fear and the anticipation, she had, it, it had a, 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 an effect on her body. Ultimately, she was fine. So I just want to make sure that you know that. But, you know, we can set ourselves up to have a certain kind of experience. If we can set ourselves up for fear and discomfort, then we can also set ourselves up for joy and success and happiness. So, you know, what do you, what do you want? You know, but most, many of us are always thinking about the future and what is, what's coming and trying to anticipate it. But we tend to, we think, yeah. our brains think that we're being proactive, right? Proactive mm -hmm. and um, in terms of being prepared for the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. that's only good to a certain point because it consumes us and then mm -hmm. like starts it's a it, it's a vibration right so mm -hmm. like starts attracting more like so. yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's why setting intentions is so powerful and the benefit of segment intending is um you're you're doing it throughout your day right you're being deliberate throughout your day yeah and mm -hmm. you're conscious you're conscious about the vibration you're putting out so in, you yeah. know, many of us might get up in the morning and just go, oh, another day, what am I going to do today? I'm going to go to work. I'm going to sit at my desk. Vera might have had that experience at a previous job. And, and uh, in fact, I think she probably did. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, what if we got up and said, you know, what do I want to feel today? I want to feel joy. I want to feel laughter. I want to feel delighted. I want to feel, um, you know, yeah. like tickled kind of thing and, and, and connected, 
connection is a big one for me. I like connection. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's significant. If you mm -hmm. feel like it was a more rewarding day and then we're attracting those things intention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where I, uh, I do really, really, really well with segment intending when it comes to getting into vehicles. So when I get on the motorcycle or we go in our RV or when we're in my car or get on an airplane or whatever, I'm very, very good about my intentions. So uh, I'm really great at that. And I suppose I could work on it a little bit better when I'm at home. For some reason, I always remember when I get in my vehicle. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a habit. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a habit. So, you know, maybe we could either we could also set timers if we really wanted to be deliberate, right, Vera? On um, be intentional. I was thinking the same thing. That's too funny because I made a note to put a a timer or a calendar reminder every day. Go across the whole week. You know, oh, you really? I and I did. I put a note right here. To, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love this group. You know, you know, it's so powerful to be with like-minded people, right? Oh, yeah. and so what do you think? How do how will you use that, Vera? I I wrote down what Cheryl said is, or what you said, we get what we vibrate. Remember to think positive. Mm. So I, I don't know if that's the right wording, Cheryl. Can you help me reword that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're right. I think that's a great reminder right there. You could put it on your bathroom. You could put it on your window yeah. on mirror. You put it on your refrigerator. You put it on your car window or dashboard or something too. You know. Um, and when she, when Jody said timer, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, it could go off at like you know. I'm usually at my desk by nine if I'm not at a networking breakfast or something. And so I'm like, well, what if I had a timer that went off on my watch that you know reminded me. Oh, I need to set an intention, you know, uh, or one and maybe at lunchtime or at the end of lunchtime. I don't do lunch at the same time. But if I did, you know, what intention would I want to set for the, you know, the rest of the afternoon or for the next hour kind of thing? So, yeah, I think I think that's a great idea to grab your attention and remind you of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and on my phone, on my alarm clocks, you can't see it. But I put what I want for the day, make the cause. That's my alarm at 630 in the morning, make the cause. And then it goes off at 645. Make the what? Make, make, the, the, make the cause. Call. call the people, call the clients. Okay. Make the call. Yeah. But mine, I mean, says, mine says make the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> make the call. Wow. Very good. Yeah. But I mean, I change that when I have something to do. I change that alarm to tell me like Sunday we or Saturday we had a Grace Olympics at church. It, I won, but <laughs> I won third place in the plank and first place in the separation anxiety, which is funny. But anyways, but I put on there Grace Olympics win, you know. So <laughs> oh, there we go. That's Such my alarm clock. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love, I love it. it. And, you know, you, you mentioned that, but I was thinking it even before you, that you look great. Oh, you thank look you. fantastic. And I know you're running, you're running, running. I, I, I want to come hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> I could run five steps with you, but oh. fantastic. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you. Keep thank up you. the good work. Jody, I hear your intention in that comment. <laughs> There's an intention. She'll remember I'm recovering from a broken foot. I don't think oh, yeah, I that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk fast. I'll walk fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, very cool. Well, I love the thought of segment intending. And thank you, Vera. I honestly think I'm going to um, set, set, more, set more timers. Set more timers. You know, one thing that I am de pretty deliberate about doing too um, is setting a timer uh, and doing my affirmations. Mm. So, oh. yeah. So I set my timer and, you know, my husband travels a lot. So, you know, I get up from whatever I'm doing. I usually walk around my house and I'm 
I'm, I'm, I'm just telling the universe my affirmations and I'm using all the feeling and emotion that I can muster up. So I'm pretty good about that too, but it's all reminders, ladies, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Until it becomes a habit and then you don't need the reminder. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, some days I still do. <laughs> some days I still do. So do you all, what is your intention for the day? Do you have a segment? Do you have, do you have different segments in your day to day? Or like for me, I'm preparing for a new program. So my segment is pretty much a huge, a big part, a big chunk of my day. Mm -hmm. How about you, Vera? Do you have different segments going on today that you can intend? Pre I, I do have a couple meetings, which I will do, you know, um, I'm intending for this meeting to go well, the clients to like me, to trust me, and to want to do business with me. And I also have a lunch uh, appointment with uh, an old friend. So I'm hoping we can catch up and it'll be a, a good meeting. Good, good fun time. So very nice. Nice. I love it. Sure. How about you? Well, my in my segment intention, I've got a couple segments going before uh, this afternoon when I have appointments. So um, I'm going to spend some time editing video and getting that up on the web. And um, I'm also um, going to, I've got a book that's been in process and I think I'm going, and it's been in process for two years and I've not been paying any attention to it. So I think today I'm going to pull it out and um, and spend a little time reviewing it and editing it and see how that's going. You know, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Looking Thanks forward to heard. that. What was that, Jody? I said looking forward to that. And hello, and look who's just joined us. It is my friend that I was just talking oh. about, Whitney in California. Oh, thanks for sharing. Whitney. I know it up, Whitney. Whitney. Join us, but knowing her, she's an exerciser too, Vera, and she has had this. Whitney, you have to come on and tell us. She she has done it like how many days in a row? So she's got this thing about keep moving, and it's wow. like hundreds of days now in a row. <laughs> so, Whitney, can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh, good, <laughs> good, good, good. So, um, Whitney, the, you're on with me and Cheryl and um, Vera in the group. And uh, Vera is uh, uh, an avid runner. And I know, Whitney, you run too. But tell <laughs> just quickly share, Whitney, your um, how many days in a row you keep moving? Um, at this point, somewhere around 850, wow. I think. I'm curious, mm -hmm. Whitney, how do you define keep moving? How I just need to know how serious I need to be to be like you. <laughs> oh, keep, keep moving. It was some days is serious, and some days is all I can do to stretch or walk around the block. Got it. Thank you. That that puts things in perspective for me. And okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm too. Um, I don't want to say. I don't want. I'm not too anything. I am. I'm mature and I pay attention to my limits and my body. I'll just put it that good. way. Very good. Got it. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah. And someday she's doing, um, she's showing her muscles and her big weights at the gym. <laughs> and, uh, and then she's in marathons too. So um, cool. You're such a nice exaggerator. Thank you. Julie. Oh, <laughs> Hey, I follow you on Facebook. <laughs> Hey, Whitney, you're the one um, that typed in the chat that you probably heard of segment intending, but you weren't quite sure. Did you happen to, to have a listen to us this morning? I'll have to catch you on replay. I just just got here. so Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Hey, Cheryl, do you want to just quickly share with Whitney and share the other term that you used? Sure, sure. So um, segment intending is about being conscious and choosing how you want to feel or what you want your experience to be for a specific length of time or an event. So um, if, you know, if it's going to a meeting or it's, you know, whatever is in your day that you uh, want to, to have a, a positive experience about rather than just leaving it to chance, then you intend it. So you you talk you tell you you talk to yourself 
about how you want to feel, what do you want to experience, how the conversation might go. Um, you don't, have, you know, you don't have to role play the whole thing out, but it's about being conscious about your thoughts before you go in. Um, I talk about it in, in my book um, as pre-paving the way. And when we pay attention to our thoughts and we're choosing our thoughts rather than allowing them to be random, then we're putting out a vibration that attracts a similar vibration. So there's a greater chance of us having a very positive, fulfilling experience when we are intending for it to be a certain way versus then we just wait and see what happens. Because waiting I, and see what happens leaves it very wide open. <laughs> got it. Okay, so I had never heard that term before. But that's exactly what I imagined that meant. You're right on target then. <laughs> <laughs> and it's something that I started doing years ago when I, and Jody knows this um, to some degree, was doing work that I did not enjoy. Mm. And I had to turn that around. And so it started with it, initially it sort of started as a joke and I was hosting these marathon. I was a lobbyist at the time. Oh. I'll just put that out there. So, and I was hosting these marathon meetings with rooms full of lawyers and others, which oh. if, if you could say you're laughing, so you can imagine how <laughs> that painful that could be. Yes. And, um, one day I, I just said, you know what, I'm going to go into this meeting and I'm going to, this is how I want to feel when I'm in it and when it's over. And um, I just kept telling myself that, that, that it was fabulous, right? And at the end, minimally, I would walk away sort of laughing that I had gotten through it. and. <laughs> It started working, and it's like now I use it with family, mostly around family. Well, there right? you go. When you have family gatherings, and you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I did not think to use it at family gatherings. Thank you. <laughs> so you're welcome. I mean, yeah, I've got one coming up too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you well, that's a really good point that's I, I haven't yeah yeah that makes sense or we do a lot of stuff with our neighbors so you know and those kinds of situations would be great too mm -hmm. yeah just mm -hmm. any kind of situation you know I mean even if you know people a little bit or pretty well you may want it to go in a certain way you know I say certain way to be positive instead of contentious or um, you want somebody to be collaborative instead of uh, uh, separate, you know, or or um, want to argue with you. I should do that with my adult kids. There you go. <laughs> there you yep. go. See, it's a good <laughs> thing you came on today because that gave us new thoughts. I appreciate that. Oh, well, you're welcome. I can I just say, speaking of that. Um, networking, which is one of those areas that a lot of people don't enjoy. Mm -hmm. And because I think they think of networking sort of in the old school way of you're con collecting cards so that people can call you to sell you things. Right. And sort of the new way of networking is really about connecting connections, making con connecting and making connections and building mutual um, opportunities. And so going into uh, uh, using air quotes and networking event um, and either gamifying it, right, mm -hmm. and sort of making it fun or really going and saying, I'm going, it's not about quantity it's about quality and i'm going to you know make connections with people that are truly going to be opportunities for me to serve them and for those people who can actually serve me rather than 
um, dreading, oh my God, I'm going to have to you know, talk to someone and they're going to want my card and then they're going to try to sell me stuff. And ch just changing your mindset around that mm -hmm. and then enjoying um, the food and bev adult beverages. <laughs> there you so, go. That probably you, helps. I see where your priorities are. <laughs> You know, and, I've been and, around a while, so yes. You and me both. <laughs> you, I love it. You know, when you think about that, uh, uh, when you think about that networking, you're right. People go there dreading it, but it's for them, right? So it's like, why am I putting myself through this? And I think many, like, you know, many times we're in our own head about what am I going to say? What am I going to do? I'm right. Rather than, oh. Yeah. Enjoying yeah. the experience. It, yeah. It's so funny. I attend a lot of networking events and, and I, when I, I, I'm thinking about one I went to just, I think it was last week and, and I look around the table and I, I knew 50% of the people that were there already. So that, which was fine. It was a really small group that day, which was unusual, but, and I, and I was like, everybody else is like very closed and tight. <laughs> I'm like, dude, at really, you're never going to meet anybody when you're like that, you know, and I'm just gregarious and, and, and I more so when everybody else is like this, <laughs> it's just funny, but um, it's like, yeah, they're, they're probably saying here she comes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there to stop them. <laughs> I'm there to make friends. It's part of my social life, you know, as yeah. networking events. You know, so I office in my home. So yeah, it's kind of like that's my that's part of my social life. Yeah, it, but it's funny how people find it very difficult to show up and to to just be themselves, you know. And we definitely need to send this video to all the people that attended the networking event last week. <laughs> Really, you can be, you should be the coach for your networking event. There's a good idea. A good idea. <laughs> so Whitney, we, um, we had been sharing um, our segments throughout our day today. What are, curious, what are your segments throughout your day today that you can pause and intend the way that you want them to go? Well, I'm going to start with, I'm getting ready to get on the road. Um, be heading to a networking event on Thursday. And so we are going to segment the trip. And um, so today's a travel, uh, it's going to be a pretty long travel day, but we rented a Tesla. So we'll be having some fun along the way. So I'm intending to enjoy the ride. Um, and then we're stopping a little more than halfway, staying overnight, and we're going to wine taste tomorrow. So oh, I'm, <laughs> I, I have learned how to travel so that I can enjoy it. Otherwise, uh -huh. it's it's painful. Um, <laughs> and so we will have to stop here and there to charge the car. Uh, and we've decided that when we stop, we'll get out and move for 15, 20 minutes, right? So instead of sitting and dreading the fact that we have to stop to charge the car, we're going to get out and exercise. There you go. So we've thought, we've already thought about that. We'll one time probably stop and have lunch or pick up something, right? So it along the way, just breaking it up and have already sort of thought it through so for me that becomes the important thing to to the intentionality part right is really thinking through what is going to happen what might be the stumbling blocks and um or or those painful moments and how to turn them into something that's going to fit what is needed and so i'm definitely moving helps shift the energy and will shift the mood. And so there's that. Can I, um, I, I, I and I'll probably spend some ahead. time, you know, flipping through social media la and watching. Um, I haven't seen all the fashions from the Met Gala yesterday. So I'll probably spend some time laughing at some of the fashion. So that'll bring joy. <laughs> their trip will go by just like that <laughs> and, uh, yes yes it will 
Can I offer a couple other thoughts that you could either take or leave? Sure. So you, you might intend to meet some interesting people along the way that are that just interesting people. I mean, you know, you might, who knows where I, I don't, I don't want to plant any big seeds, but you know, I, you might say, I, I, I intend to meet some interesting people along the way and have rich conversations. I could do that. Um, and uh, you know what, probably even without intention that will happen because I am married to that dude. Um, oh, that who, dude, yeah. Yes, who just talks to everyone. Um, and, and you know what, Cheryl, that's a, that is a, for me, that is a good suggestion because we have been in the grocery store and he will stop and do that. And I will keep shopping. And then he'll say, well, why, do you, why do you walk away? I was like, well, we have shopping to do. He says, you never know who interesting you might meet if you don't stop and talk to people. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm shopping. Um, I'm just intending to get out of here quickly. But he is very open to that suggestion. So now that I have two of those, I will I will consider it. You consider it. <laughs> <laughs> Vera, yes. you're cracking up. You have I one. am. She is making me laugh. <laughs> because I'm married to that dude. I know Cheryl's married I, to that I, dude. I am that dude. <laughs> you are that dude. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say I am that dude. My husband will walk away. It's like, oh. do you have to talk to everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, too funny, too funny. Some of the most interesting things happen. And, 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 you know, it's that exchange of energy. And I don't do it all the time. But, you know, I will, I will do it in the grocery store sometimes, although my husband does most of the grocery shopping, thank goodness. But, um, you know, and, and it's, it, ten, it tends to be a real rewarding experience because I meet somebody and we have this exchange and it could have been over cinnamon or whatever, right? It could have been something non-important. And, um, but the, the energy exchange, there's maybe laughter or maybe there's this, that, or another, and it's a real positive thing. It, you know, I rarely have a, a negative outcome. Um, if I get a negative response, I usually think it's a joke. And I think that's probably the best way to, to look at it, you know, <laughs> savor it, savor it that way. But anyway, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Well, for my day, I mentioned that I'm working on a new program that I'm delivering this week. So the chunk of my day, I intend to uh, be very, very deliberate and I intend to feel calm. I feel confident in the content. Um, I feel creative. I feel confident in the delivery. And I just want to be in the flow of working on this program. And so it will be easy. <laughs> you love our easy button. Yes. And you know what? The more you hit the easy button, the more opportunities you get to hit the easy button. So love my easy button. Uh, ladies, anything else you want to add? I want to add one more thing. I okay. want to add that I am missing part of my glasses. It broke <laughs> off yesterday. And I intend to get a phone call today that says we can get that fixed for you right away. Cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm Colonel, what was his name in, in Hogan's Heroes? Clink. Clink, who had the, the monocle, yeah. you know, and I'm like constantly moving them and they're trifocals. So when they're not sitting quite right, I'm like <laughs> trying to find the space to see the right through the right area. So I intend to have some solution, maybe not the total solution, but in process today for this problem, I have. <laughs> and so you shall. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> very good. Well, uh, Cheryl, thanks for sharing that. Uh, again, it's a quick, it's easy, it's simple, yet it's a really powerful tool. So thanks for um, sharing, um, shedding some light on that for us today and reminding us all um, to practice segment intending throughout our day. Uh, Whitney, thanks for jumping on all the way from California and Vera from um, Texas. 
Uh, so thank you for joining us. And so everybody else, you know, jump on. If you can just jump on for a couple of minutes, great. Join the conversation. Um, so we have fun here. And you know what? We have a lot of creative people in this group. You know, law of attraction, we're, we're here living the law of attraction, just reminding us to be deliberate about staying in the energy of what it is that we want to attract in our lives. Um, and, you know, there's so many different mo modalities. Some people are really great at visualization. Some are great at affirmation. Some are great at, um, you know, EFT. Some are great at um, being Meditation. deliberate. So, you know, we, again, we've got a lot of talented people in this group. We've got authors. We have got um, publishers in this group. So if anybody wants to set up um, an opportunity to come on and, and, and share, a, you know, a tip or tool or, or some kind of teaching, you know, just reach out to us and we can make that happen because it's all about sharing. Absolutely. So thank you, ladies. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate yes. it. Thank you. All right, All right everybody. Day. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Now make it a wonderful day. Make, make it, it a wonderful, a wonderful day. day. I love it. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Vera. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Bye, Whitney.